thing I have to say, because I'm not going to leave you guys hanging. I made this server from the very beginning for you guys. Not for anyone else, not for me to make money. I did it for you guys. So I would like you to stay in here and listen to everything I have to say, because I don't want to leave you guys hanging. If I stop talking for a bit, you know what the fuck I'm doing. So just let me, if it happens and I stop talking, just chill in here and wait for me to come back. <clears throat> Actually, I'm going to get a glass of wine. I'm gonna start with that. Give me 30 seconds, fellas. <laughs> no way. Class. <laughs> Chugged a glass of wine, feeling a little bit better. Okay. <clears throat> Now, I went from one of the most very hated people in Rust, players in Rust, to being one of the most hated server owners in Rust. Thank you all for being here. And again, I'm going to state again, I would like you all to be here for the entire podcast. I won't take any more than 30 minutes of your time. I, I'm winging this. I was going to prepare a speech. I would rather not. I've always done podcasts when we had server. I've always done them from the heart, so I'm going to wing it. I'm going to just speak to you guys, tell you everything on my mind. I'm going to tell you my opinions. I'm going to do a classic kin move. I'm going to shit talk other servers and expose them. So you'll want to stay tuned for that shit. It'll be towards the end of the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going out without a bang. You guys know that. Now, I started as one of the most hated Rust players in history. I've played this game for almost 10 years. It has poisoned my mind, and I'm one of the most toxic fucks in game that you would have ever seen. I hope you guys know and understand, I'm nothing. I am nothing like this in my real life. Me yelling, screaming, it doesn't happen. Yes, I do have a temper tantrum, I have a temper problem. But all the, all the clips of me being a freak, that's me and Rust, it's slowly poisoned my mind and leading a clan for years and years, almost 10 years, really fucked me up. <laughs> so I went from being one of the most hated players in Rust to wanting to quit, finally, after eight years of leading Dot. And I had, a, I had a choice, either rage hack and destroy my reputation forever and just go and cheat on a server like Vital, <laughs> or actually do something for the community that I love and had taken so much of my life away. I decided to do that, and I decided to make a server. From the very beginning, it's always been about you guys. As you guys saw in the last podcast, I even let you decide the name of my server. Since the very beginning, it's always been about you guys. Whether you believe it or not, whether other shitty server owners that don't give a fuck about you tell you otherwise, I promise you it has always been about you. I've put countless hours I've lost countless hairs from my hairline doing all of this for you. And I hope you can feel that. I hope you can appreciate it. Yes, I've yelled at a lot of you. Yes, I've been toxic. But me staying on 14 hours a day and not making any money, by the way, like essentially nothing. If you guys would like to know how much I'm walking away with, I'll tell you. It's not... It's, <laughs> It's not worth it for the 10 months of work I've done, but that's not what it was for. It was for you guys. Now, I am shutting down Affinity. That's the reveal. No way, kid. On camera, I got tears in my eyes. I ain't turning on no damn fucking camera. No Fuck way, that. kid. Okay. A lot of clan leaders are in here, and I've already talked to them uh, personally. 
It's already leaked. You guys have heard the leaks. The leaks are true. For those of you, for those of you that I've lied to, and I told you that I'm not closing down, I lied to you so this last wipe could be great. It wasn't great, but I didn't want people flying around, fucking rage hacking. You know, we already had AGR. We already had AGR do that today. <laughs> but um, I wanted you guys to have a normal good wipe where the majority of players didn't know. I know it was obvious to a lot of you. Um, but yeah, I wanted you guys to have a good wipe. That's all it is. We were going to shut down after the Monday wipe, but I said, fuck that. Um, let's give them a couple more 10x wipes. Make everything weekly, because I'm not going to fucking charge people for monthly passes and then shut down. I'm not going to do that. This, I'm, my Discord is lagging. <laughs> you guys are going to crash my fucking Discord. Um, I hope you enjoyed the last wipe of Affinity. It has been an absolute honor. I have been dreading this every day, thinking about what the fuck I'm going to say. Again, if I stop talking, you know what's going on. So just let me do my thing. <laughs> I have a lot I want to say to you guys. A lot. I'm going to be cocky. <laughs> I'm not only going to be emotional and honest and... Uh, Vulnerable, I'm also going to attack the fuck out of some people that deserve to be attacked. And I'm going to give you guys options for, you know, alternative servers and such. So, uh, yeah, I've been dreading this. It's been an honor to, to go from someone so hated to someone whose servers are the best main scene servers there are and no one can argue that with me obviously the um the drive and dedication we've had has kind of faltered since the blacklist one week ago today um i hope you guys have had some of the best wipes you've ever had i hope you enjoy all the things that i've innovated and yes some of this will come off as cocky i'd like to just list some of the things i've innovated and brought to the main scene that'll probably never leave some of them are bad, some of them are good. Um, roam lines, hands-on admining, you know, deleting your base builds when you fuck up your base design. We were the first server to do that. Spawning in food for people when you spam something. First server to do that. In-game events. I was the first server to do in-game events, and it came about naturally. I called a roam. And I said, fuck this, what could I get, what could I do to get more people to the roam spot? Because I want a 30 FPS roam with 20 teams. <laughs> so, I called it a king of the hill. I put a fucking, I put some ice walls on the top of a hill. First king of the hill ever done on a main scene server, or any Rust server, I believe. King of the hill was me. That naturally evolved into the maze. Now Rustoria is doing mazes. Rustoria is doing mazes. Do you know how that feels to someone with a toxic rust heart like my own? I'm very proud of myself. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen how rapidly we've expanded in this short amount of time. It's only been nine months. I feel like we've came a long way. We had the best week we had ever had, both financially and players-wise. And everything was smoothed out, we had no server issues, and right at the end of that wipe, we got blacklisted. We've tried to fight it. If you guys would like to know what I've offered Face Punch, let me get the list. Hold on. This is what I offered Face Punch, and, and again, I will, at the very beginning of this podcast, do not attack Face Punch. Do not attack Face Punch. They are the creators of the game you all love. They're the reason why this podcast even exists. They're the reason why the beautiful journey, I call it a beautiful journey of affinity, ever happened, is because of Face Punch. So do not attack Face Punch. A lot of the reasons why we're blacklisted, you can blame me for. And I'll get into deep specifics. You guys are going to want to be in here this entire time. 
I'll tell you what we've offered Face Punch and they denied our appeal. One sec. I didn't do this prepared. Again, like I'm going with the flow as I've always done. Anyway, I can't find the fucking DMs, but we offered a $5,000 dono donation to Charitable Rust. We offered to give them full panel access. We offered to give them ownership of our discords. We offered for me to step down. We offered um, an aggressive, complete change to the way we run our company. We've, we offered as much as we could possibly offer. 5,000 US Charitable Rust donation, you know, all that stuff. Um, do not, anyone that attacks Face Punch, I don't want you in any of my discords. And yes, I'm going to be keeping a couple discords. So I don't know if you want to stay connected with me, but if you respect me at all, even if you disrespect me, it doesn't matter. Respect the developer that made this game. Please. Um, we fought as best we could. They didn't offer us an appeal. I, again, this podcast is going to be all over the place. I have no sort of structure. I'm just going to speak from the heart the whole time. And essentially, this is my bow. This is my swan song. It's my bow. So just let me, let me speak to you guys. I fucking love you guys. Like, I don't think you understand. Every day I wake up. I think about how can I do fun things on my server? How can I make it more fun? That's always what it's been since the beginning. And that this is the shit that makes me teary-eyed because I know me being gone. I know with how much I care to the point it damages me mentally. I know you guys probably won't get that again. And that breaks my fucking heart. It genuinely does. Ugh. I ain't open a no camera. I also don't even have a webcam, so it's not even possible. <laughs> um, it's the guilt. The pain I feel is from the guilt of of knowing that um, you guys likely won't have someone that cares as much as I do ever again. And trust me, I care a lot. Wait, you call me and wake me up. I sent you a Discord message. It just started. I still have at least 20 minutes left of things to say. Oh, okay. That's alright then. Yeah. Why is it closing? That's a good question. Guys, Affinity is my baby. It's like my child. I've nurtured it. I've put money into it. I've put hours into it. I love I love it. It's very it's been very successful. It just keeps getting, it kept getting better and better. And basically the blacklist is like diagnosing my baby with cancer. I've said this to people already. That's exactly how I feel about it. I feel like it, it has cancer. It's going to die eventually because of that blacklist and we cannot appeal it. It's going to die. <laughs> That's my analogy. No, I wouldn't put down my baby if it had cancer, <laughs> but that is the analogy I'm going to use. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, the baby's getting euthanized. That's essentially what I'm doing. I don't want to watch something beautiful. I'm going to call, I'm going to use words like that. I find it beautiful. The story of Affinity, I feel like it's, you know, we had rough, so many rough patches. We pulled ourselves out of it and then we just started rapidly expanding. We were about to have probably 20 servers and I didn't want to watch that slowly die. I didn't want to watch it. I couldn't do it. I don't have the mental health for that. I might sound like a toxic fuck, but I'm a highly emotional man. I'd probably end myself if I continued to watch something that I worked so hard towards just slowly die. So ending while I'm at the top will help my mental state. And I hope you guys, I hope you respect that. I hope you do. Why was I blacklisted? <laughs> So, there's a lot of drama surrounding myself. There's a lot of drama surrounding Affinity. No other server gets as much attention as we do when, like, a negative video is made, as you guys know. All it takes is one admin abuse video, and there's fucking, you know, 
500,000 views. No other servers get that kind of attention. Um, my notoriety, in the foundation of why we're blacklisted, in my opinion, and guys, I understand there's there's TikTok videos out there of other server owners, you know, the guy with the deep voice saying Affinity Servers has been blacklisted for these reasons. It's complete bullshit. It's complete. I would be completely honest with you about why we're blacklisted. I would be completely honest with you, and I'm going to be. I'm going to tell you exactly what the reasons are. So there's a lot of drama, a lot of accusations that have been built up since when I was a player and since I've been a server owner. But none of them are reputable because none of them hold any evidence. Face Punch has acknowledged that. Holmesy himself, who is the top of Rust, as you guys know, he finally communicated with us via Discord DMs. No, I'm not going to leak our DMs with Holmesy. I respect him. Holmesy has told us it's the... I think he said it's the disgusting way we treat our players in game. That's really ultimately why we're blacklisted. Me Pin, can you just check my DM? Sorry to interrupt. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll do it right now. One sec. Sorry, someone's nuking my fucking. Just ban them and delete all the messages. And there we go. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Okay. It's ultimate, you know, it's me calling you guys fucking retards. <laughs> the whole point of Affinity was to be a Rust player that owned a Rust server. Be professional where I needed to be with such stuff like personal information. Payment information. You know, be professional in those ways. But how I treat you guys, I, I level with you. I talk like a Rust player. I've been a Rust player for years, so it's hard for me to act otherwise. Um... And it's ultimately, he even said things like placing walls in front of people while they're shooting and talking, I don't think he used the words talking shit, but talking shit to people in game. So when I'm like, shut the fuck up, retards in chat and stuff, that is ultimately what blacklisted us. I, I do, I mean, you guys, I, I, I partially agree with it. I am not going to attack face punch at all and nor do I want you guys to. It's their organization. They don't want to be affiliated with something so controversial. That's ultimately what the foundation of it is. And my notoriety, and you guys know, Ken is the most hated, most um, controversial person in the Rust main scene. It was inevitable that this was going to happen one day. It was absolutely inevitable. Hey, Ken. Um, you can check my DM as well, please. Sorry. Okay. Thank you, Drew. Yep, I will be. Drew has some... Um, damning info on one of the vital 50% owners and that is what I'll be exposing at the end of this podcast you guys think that I'm that I'm the bad guy so I'll prove to you that one of the 50% owners of vital is not a very reputable or a good person <laughs> All right, I just want to remind people that are spamming the fucking Rust Discord, please stop. Stop, guys. Let, you literally let, make things worse. You make things worse. for If you ever want me to open a server ever again, and there may be an opportunity for me to, and I was going to save that until the end of the podcast, but you guys are making me say it now. There may be an opportunity to. I want that, and I know a lot of you don't, but most of you do. Stop. Stop. For the people that are new to the podcast, yes, I'm shutting down Affinity. That's what this is about. This is my bow out. This is me telling you guys how much I love you, which is a lot. And every time I do say that, I feel tears in my eyes. Every, every fucking time I say it. <sighs> Quick break again. Give me 10 seconds. rip the money. It was never about the money. If you guys want to know how much I'm walking away with, it's about it's about $2,000. You guys know I'm honest about everything. That's what I'm walking away with profit. You say cap all you want. Our payroll was $9,000 a month. And two of the guys that got paid some of that money are in here right now. They can confirm with you right now. This is not scripted. Ask them. Yep. He's not wrong. Yep. Billy was the highest paid staff member. 
nine thousand dollar payroll. Box costs three grand, maybe. So whatever we made over twelve thousand was profit. So do not say that it's about the money. I've profited about two thousand dollars this whole time. Which, which also, yes, that also you know affects me mentally. <laughs> But it wasn't about that. It doesn't matter. This is this is the moment I've been dreading for a week. I'm a crane operator. That's how I eat. I have savings. Don't worry about me financially. If you'd like to donate to to us upon our departure, we do have we do have a supporter affinity supporter package on the on the site. Anyways, um, please stop spamming the face punch thing. If you ever want me to have a chance again, ever, then just respect me and don't attack face punch. We have 1,700 people in here. I was just about to say, this is probably the biggest podcast Russ has seen in a minute. Yeah, we tried. I fought for you guys. I wrote something that I thought, again, was beautiful and well-written. And, you know, we fought, we fought, but it's they're just not letting us. It's not going to happen. It's permanent. The blacklist is permanent. And I just don't want to watch it slowly dwindle away. I can't. I cannot. I won't survive it. I think I wouldn't survive it. Oh, I'm not. No, I'm not deleting the discords. A couple discords are going to be given away to my friends who are going to start servers. And that's something I'll touch on later on. Okay. I'll probably loop back around to the emotional shit, but really, this whole podcast, guys, this whole podcast, the heart of it is is me telling the people that both love me, hate me, whatever, think I'm a terrible human being. It's really just me like, like telling you, I love you guys. I've done it all for you. I'm going to say it again. I've already said it multiple times. I've done this all for you. It's always been. Why did I do it? Because I brought nothing to the main scene community other than toxicity when I was a player. Nothing. And I had an option a, a, an option to redeem myself and make something that I think was more influential than any other Rust server in history. I think that my server and what I have innovated is more influential than any server has ever been and will be. There will always be maze events. There will always be in-game events now. There will always be servers that have hands-on admining. Calling Rome, spawning food for people, public podcasts like this. There are servers that have ripped off literally every single thing that I've done. And you, you know one of them, and I will be attacking them towards the end of the podcast. But actually, we could do that now. Are you guys ready for me to just talk shit? You ready? Because I, I want you guys, I want to make this a full fledged podcast. I want it to be entertaining as fuck. Okay. <laughs> Let's do it. Atlas Rust servers, shall we? Shall we start with them? I'm not going to do... They don't really have anything super malicious they've done, but I'm going to talk my shit, okay? This is going to be a shock to a lot of you. I kind of respect Nico because he played main for so long and he made a server. Does he give a fuck about any of you? Hell the fuck no, he does not. We actually saw his revenue charts. April to July, do you know how much Vital made in 2021? 133,000 US dollars in three months. And he does not even have the quality to be on his server and admin it. $133,000 in three months. But I still respect Nico. He is a main scene player. He started clan servers, and that's the only thing I copied. Everything else, you guys know how different Affinity is to every other server. The only server that's not different, and here's what I want to rip into, 
The only server that's not different and actually has pretty much everything replicated is Atlas. Atlas was made in August. The owner of Atlas has 800 hours in Rust when he made his server. He never once played a main server. Ever. When he started, he added roam lines. He added hands-on admining. He added everyone spamming chat to give them apples. He added remove base removals. He, had, he started doing in-game events, saying he came up with them. King of the Hill. Maze events. He even recently, two days ago, made a maze prefab. <laughs> if you guys remember what our slogan was. My slogan was for the community, by the community. If you go and connect to any Atlas server today, and you look in the server, the, you know the little server message that pops up when you press escape? They blatantly ripped our slogan. Atlas's official slogan is for the community by the community. I don't know how much more blatant it can get. In fact, they've made a 5X. You know what our top kit on 10X is called? Do you guys know what it's called? It's called Immortal. Do you know what Atlas is? Top kit is called? Immortal. <laughs> like, I don't know how much more blatant it can get. If you guys give a fuck about the main scene, do not play a server ran by a guy who advertised and marketed the fact that he never played main. He marketed that. Atlas is going to be better because I've never played main. Fuck no. None of his ideas are original. <laughs> I told you I'm going to I'm going to keep this entertaining. I'm going to talk my shit. I'm going to fucking cry. I'm going to laugh. You guys have everything. I'm giving you everything. It's the fun. Then the exposing comes at the very end. Ken's going out with a bang. <laughs> I'm not going to expose now. But Atlas Rust servers has literally unashamedly copied every single thing I've innovated. And it is actually disgusting. What's more disgusting is the monopoly Vital Rust servers is about to have. Vital gets paid 50% of Atlas's revenue to handle all of their backend. And it is important that you guys know that. Atlas is vital. Without vital, Atlas cannot hold more than 425 pop. Yes, we have the yes, we have the proof. Yes, we have the receipts. Vital handles all their backend. You could go ahead on Battle Metrics and go look at their 5X and see that Pink Stink is one of the top connected players because he developed that server for them. Pink Stink being the 50% owner of Vital, by the way. Marsley server. Evolved the move. Evolved, I think it's called. That's also vital. Don't fall for their bullshit. That is completely vital. Marsley bought our plugins. Marsley bought our plug. No, he fucking didn't. No, he didn't. Vital's plugins are worth 10 grand. Vital's optimizations are worth another 20, I'd say. We've offered to pay $15,000 for optimizations. We've offered. But, I mean, we're you guys know, we're pretty, we're pretty optimized compared to certain, like, we're top three most optimized servers, but we did it ourselves. We did it all from scratch. All these servers that are out are all essentially owned fully by Vital. Without Vital, Atlas is fucking dead. They can hold no more than 400 pop without lagging. I remember they hit 425 once and they were eight server FPS. And if you guys know how server FPS wins, or how it works, sorry, how server FPS works, feels like a DDoS if it's under 10 FPS. Yeah, evolved. Don't fall for the bullshit. Nico has acknowledged how the vital name is no longer the place for clans. So what he's doing is rebranding, getting other people to seem like the owners like Marsley, who stole 600 US dollars from us. So don't play his server. Imagine someone that's willing to steal 600 US dollars. <laughs> someone that's willing to steal that, they're just going to want to steal money from you. They're going to take all your money, slurp it right up. That's what they want. I don't know if Marsley actually has any ownership of Evolved, but just know that is vital. So really, there's no options right now. It's vital or vital or vital. <laughs> it's, it's, it's an affinity replica with the back end handled by vital. <laughs> or it's vital. Or it's 
<laughs> it's a guy that's willing to steal money from multiple people. It's not just me that he stole the money from. Uh, but his servers ran by Vital. So you guys have Vital, Vital, or Vital. That's all you have right now. So you guys know how much I care about you. I cannot be involved with servers anymore. I have to keep my head down for a bit. There may be an opportunity in the future. And you'll know. And I'm sure you'll. a lot of you will come back and play my servers if I make some again. But I have to learn my lesson. And I have learned my lesson. I've been devastated, genuinely. I hope I just hope you guys appreciate everything that we've done. I really I really hope you've had a good time. I have some friends making a server. I am not involved with it at all. It's important you guys know that. I am not involved. Not in the back end, not secretly. I am not going to be involved whatsoever. It will be the only alternative you have to Vital, who has a complete mo monopoly over the servers. If you'd like to know who reported us to Face Punch, by the way, would you guys like to know? Because he admitted it already. It's, it's the 50% owner of Vital Nico. By the way, the dirt and exposing I have is on the other owner, Pink Stink. Holy fuck, I, my whole Discord's lagging. If you'd like to know who reported us and has pushed them and pressured them into shutting us down this whole time, it is indeed Nico. Think about it. He lost it all. He literally gave up the clan scene because I have changed the clan scene permanently. I still respect him. If he, he's probably in on here and here on an alt listening, and if you're listening, Nico, I still respect you. You made you started clan servers, man. You played the game for almost as long as I did, but you didn't have to do this. You didn't have to send them stuff that I had said prior to ever making my company. You didn't have to do that. I respect him for the mere, for the, the just for how many hours he has in Russ and how long he was a part of Maine. That's the only reason I respect him. That's it. Lewis gets no respect. Lewis is the owner of Alice. He gets nothing. There's no respect for, for Alice here. Zero. Absolutely fucking zero. When you literally copy everything. He even copied, I don't know if you guys noticed, when I sleep, I change my bio to sleeping so I get less DMs. I, a week later, I saw Lewis had sleeping on his bio when he was sleeping. <laughs> I don't know if you got to copy who I am as a person. I don't think you'd want to be, Ken. I'm fucking crazy. I don't think you'd want to be. <laughs> but if you want to be, go ahead. Like, whatever. <laughs> There's so many little things that Alice has copied, guys, that it's, it's, it's fucking... Dis I mean, they've been, they've been reaching out to every clan saying we're shutting down. Yes, it leaked. And again, for the people I've lied to saying it's not shutting down, I just wanted to give you guys one last good wipe. I didn't want everyone cheating. Unfortunately, AGR was cheating on US Fridays, the whole fucking wipe, but um, I wanted to give you guys a good last wipe. I can still do a maze, by the way, if you guys are interested. I can. It, no, everyone's going to break rules because no one's going to give a fuck. We can make it an AIDS, just a pure cancer fucking maze to end the server if you guys want to. We can schedule it for like 7 p.m. EST. Everyone get on U.S. Fridays and U.S. the U.S. main merge. Log on and fucking farm up. <laughs> I'll have the only rule will be no shooting outside. Once you guys get inside, fucking rocket heavy armor. I don't give a fuck. Have fun. Enjoy the last affinity maze. We can do something like that if you guys want. Now uh, I have to reiterate some things, so I will go around in a circle again. Um. why we're blacklisted. There's TikToks out there. You guys have probably seen them of people saying, people claiming to be server owners. Kin got blacklisted for, you know, actual malicious illegal stuff. That's not why. We had a very long, not very long, um, only about 10 messages, but I think that that's pretty long for this owner of Rust 
we um we had a about 10 message back and forth with Holmesy, and he's explained that it's due to our admin style. It's it's due to me calling you guys fucking retards. It's due to when we script check someone, we wall them in. It's due to our gameplay rules, essentially. We do have proof. We do have proof. But are we going to leak DMs with Holmesy? No, we're not going to do that. I mean, maybe. Maybe I'll show you guys one message or something. I don't mind. The problems with that, let me explain it to you. So again, the, the foundation of it is how controversial myself and Affinity is. By the way, please, could we hit 2,000? We're, we're, please, please, could we hit 2,000 people? Apart? Invite everyone, please. I would love that. You're going to want to be here for the exposing at the end. <laughs> okay. Um, the problem that they didn't say, but I know is the problem is Imagine a role player buys Rust for 60 fucking dollars. He loads in. He goes to the server browser. <laughs> he goes to the top modded servers. He sees Affinity. He joins Affinity and sees me calling him a fucking retard. <laughs> Maybe he has to get TP'd a million times and I come and fucking kill him. <laughs> That's the problem. You got our servers aren't forcibly they're not shut down. We're just blacklisted. The server browser's done. Why am I shutting down? I don't want to watch my baby slowly die every month. I think it's good for my mental health to stop while I'm at the top. And that is what I'm guilty of. That's why I, I sit in here and I've been crying, is because I care about you guys and I know the majority of you want me to continue. I love you guys. Even the people that hate me. I've never been one of those you know, you guys have probably seen musical artists saying the haters are what keeps me going. That's actually the case. Everyone that hated me and shit talked, Drew's now on my staff team. But Drew, with all the toxic shit he did for Vital, which is really bad, he's one. He's a guy that kept me going like crazy. That is a useful. That is a useful kid that cares about the main scene. By the way. Don't attack Drew. He cares a lot. He cares a lot. But that's the real reason why we're blacklisted. They just can't be affiliated with a server that has admins that just call people fucking retard. We hit 2,000. Wow. That's, that's absolutely amazing. I don't think you guys know how good it feels. My cold black heart <laughs> that you, you know, care this much to listen. I love you guys. It's that simple. I really do. We just hit 2K listeners. I know. I'd love if I had the money to make my own game, honestly. <laughs> I love you guys, though, like. Thank you for anyone that has ever touched my servers, even if you haven't. You're the ones that kept me going. So thank you. I hope you enjoyed everything I've created. Like the maze is one of my most, you know, one of my most proud things. I, I think the maze event is fucking great. And every server is going to be doing them. I hope you had fun. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. I hope you enjoyed all the drama, which is what Rust is. It's not Rust without it. I'll never forget this ever. And I hope you guys don't forget it either. I actually love you. Like, I, it's love. Like, I love you guys. I do. And I'm really honest because I've chucked two glasses of fucking wine. So, I hope there's an opportunity for me, me to make something down the line, maybe six months or something. And I hope you guys come back. <laughs> I hope I can fucking make a great server again. I just have, I have to make some changes. You can check your DMs. Okay. Yeah, you know, Tilton. Fanta? Okay, hold on. I mean that's not yeah, I mean, whatever. That's just what that's just vital being vital. It's not a big deal. What do we talk about next? 
I'm just really proud of all the things I've innovated. What do we talk about next? Yeah, just exposure. Oh, no. <laughs> I will say one thing though. Um, whilst most of our staff aren't blacklisted, there are several people that are from opening servers. Um, a lot of you are probably going to be thinking, hey, I know, let's just make our own fucking server. And I'm going to do a really fucking bad plug here, Ken, and I'm sorry about this, but Bitania, probably one of the best hosts ever. Fuck you. Yep, all. yep. If you want a box, go to Bitania and Tempest. Those yep. are fantastic. I don't know fantastic. if some of you remember the days oh. where we used to get knocked constantly. Yeah, they're the only reason our server survived. Yeah. By the way, we've only got blacklisted from one host ever. Do you guys know who that host is? I'll attack the fuck out of these retards too. <laughs> Do you know the only host that denied us services is the same host that runs Vital? <laughs> Game Server Kings. The only ones that denied us services. Why? Nico. <laughs> Obviously. The owner, Renee, is very close with Nico. Very close. So don't fucking use them if you're making a server. Fuck that shit. Bitania, Tempest, fantastic. I mean, I will say this, because I don't want to get caught in a legal matter. Game Server Kings is a good host, but if they're doing shit like that, it's fucking bullshit. And we've got all, again, we've got all the receipts. They said, oh, we'll give you services if you do, if you buy our $8,000 a month fucking enterprise package. And then the owner of that company leaked DMs with him and Obama to Nico. Think about that. The owner of a hosting company screenshotted DMs with Obama and sent them to the owner of Vital. It's a little fucking weird. <laughs> it's a little strange. This is stuff we've never linked because we've never, you know, in DMs and voice, yes, I, I've shit talked my competitors, but I have not exposed them. I have not done big announcements really maybe once or twice, but not like they do to us. Where do we go next? Their server's coming up. I'll I'll help them mark it. I'll do a couple announcements in this. I'm probably keeping this Discord forever with Obama and ATM. The other ones are all up for grabs, really. I'll probably be giving them out to my friends and stuff. But this one in ATM, if you guys ever... And by the way, before I get into exposing stuff, um, I, my DMs will always be open. Always. So if you ever want to talk to me, they're open for you guys forever. Okay. Shall we? Well, first, I'll, I'll, say, I'll say it verbally first. Let's say it verbally, and then I'll post, I'll post screenshots, and I'll give you guys the opportunity. If you want me to live, live stream the group chats we're in, <laughs> we can do that. So here's the worst one. I'll say the worst one first, because I've taken up a lot of you guys this time. So I'm going to say the most damaging one that we have on Vital. Um, when Drew first joined my staff team, if you guys remember that, he was in here for a couple days, and then he went back to Vital. He had access to our battle metrics. Pink Stink, the 50% owner of Vital, by the way, was pressuring him, and we have, we're in the group chat that this takes place, where this conversation takes place. You guys have to understand that. We have the group chat. I'm inside of it. So I can fucking, it's, it's actual hard proof. And I will, I'll post screenshots and give you guys an opportunity. I can't live stream in here. It doesn't let me, but like privately, like with 20 of you or however many people can join my live stream. Yeah, I'll show you. Get this. How do you guys feel about this? Pink stink. I'm going to attack the fuck out of that guy, by the way. I'm going to say a lot of shit about him. That's all true. Um, I'll say the most damaging shit first so the rest of you guys can start disconnecting if you want to get on with your day. Pink Stink was convincing Drew, was convincing Drew to spawn cargo ships in everyone's base and then do commands to save the server a bunch of times so we couldn't roll back. On top of that, he wanted Drew to infiltrate our battle metrics and add triggers to automatically like fucking ban everyone and sabotage our entire server. And that is a rep, a guy that's supposed to be reputable who owns a massive company. Vital's a big company. 
actually talking about infiltrating and sabotaging my company. You won't catch us dead talking about shit like that. All we ever did was just steal teams for people. It is very fucking weird. On top of that, he also, a vital staff member was, if you guys remember my 10X on release day, crashed a few times. Do you know who that was? That was vital. I'm not going to say his name, but a vital staff member was spamming rugs to crash the server, and it worked three times. It kept crashing. Who was the one egging him on, giving him, I quote, plus brownie points? Pink Stink. I've never even talked to Pink Stink, ever. Crashed our 10x. Tried to convince Drew to spawn cargos in everyone's base, delete their whole base, overwrite the save file so the wipe would have been killed, and sabotage our battle metrics. And if you guys know how serious sabotaging our battle metrics is, that's some serious fucking shit. I'll show you guys all the proof. Don't worry about it. Let me get a screenshot of the group chat right now. I'll start with that. One moment. Drew, if you're in here, can you type a dot in the group chat, please? If not, Obama has a full video. I have so many DMs, so I just, I can't find anything. Ah, we got it. Okay. All right, we got it. I mean, here's a video. We'll just, we'll do a video, but we're in the group chat. Like, we're in it. So you guys have to understand, this is serious shit. Like, this is, it's an announcement channel right now. Have a look. You guys might not care, but you got to understand that is a company talking about actually infiltrating another company. All these other servers, like uh, Atlas and uh, Evolved, they're all fully developed by Pinkstink because they're essentially owned by Vital. So. Yeah. There's a lot more. <laughs> there's, there's the evidence of him pushing Drew to... I won't say it, but it, it, there's some there's some bad shit, and I'll I'll leak it all. It'll all be in the announcement channel for the rest of eternity for you guys to go and look at and say, "Wow, I don't want to play on a server that did that." Um, no, I'm not ghost. I support Drew entirely. Drew was used. He's not even an adult. They used him. They used him. They've used him for months. Every toxic thing Drew did was for that company. They got a 15-year-old kid to go and do some toxic shit to our company multiple times. So I do not have anything against Drew whatsoever. What server should you go play? Uh, I don't want to name it because I'm I'm scared of them getting blacklisted just for me, like even mentioning the name. Um, I have nothing to do with it though, so I don't see why they would blacklist it. There's a new server coming out, and it will be called Harmony. 
Noted in your noted in your pages. Yeah. We'll be running that server. They have my support. But I'm not gonna support them because I can't. <laughs> that is the only server that will not be vital. Like a clan server that won't be vital. Of course there's other ones like Horizon, but it's shut down. There's Oxide that is also shut down. So there's no real competition, and that's dangerous. So I'm going to tell you guys, um, and again, when I get guilty, when I get emotional, it's knowing that I'm leaving you guys hang out to dry. I feel so horrible. I wish I could keep going. I just know that it's not going to be the best experience because the pop's going to drop off a little bit every week. Um, What do I want to say here? Lewis, the owner of Atlas, has already already said this publicly that as if Affinity shuts down, because he didn't know for sure, no more free VIPs. And that's all you guys need to know. Without competition, you guys are paying for every VIP on every server. I'm telling you right now, that is how it'll be. So you guys need to demand free VIP. You need to demand the things that you've gotten when Affinity was here. Just because Nico had to call the feds and get us blacklisted, which is essentially what's happened. I won the war, and then he called the feds. <laughs> That's pretty much what has happened here. <laughs> Take care of yourselves and demand things. You guys are the players. You have the control. You can play where you want. Refuse to play those servers if they don't give you the same amount of VIPs they were giving while Affinity was here. Do not let them use you. Do not let them, uh, what's the word? Take advantage of you. Don't let them take advantage of you. Don't let someone that's never played a main server before take money from you. That's a big one. Make sure you get someone that actually fucking cares. People are fantastic liars. Be careful of that. I love you guys. Like I said, it's been an honor. My DMs will always be open. It's been a journey. It's been ups and downs. It's been, I would call it magical, beautiful. <laughs> for me, it has been. Yes, I'm high stress. Yes, I want to kill myself every day <laughs> for how much work I had to do. But uh, thank you. I just want to yeah, go ahead. I just say something real quick because um, I know there's face punch staff in here. Um, in terms of development, me, Izzy, and everyone, we were just developers. We weren't staff. We didn't handle anything with staff. I just want to get yeah. that out there. Yeah, they had nothing um, to do with me and Obama. So they don't deserve any sort of blacklisting whatsoever. But love everyone here. It was a fun ride. It was indeed a fun ride. Adios, boys. And again, any, anyone that has gone to Rust's Discord and you guys are fucking spamming anything, I mean... You lost my respect entirely. If you respect me, don't do it. If you don't respect me, don't do it. I've said at the very beginning of this podcast, do not attack Face Punch, period. Do not. Where am I going? What am I going to do? I'm probably going to be very depressed for the next couple weeks. <laughs> this has been my life for 10 months. It's been such a fantastic experience. Um... Fuck, I keep crying. It keep, I feel the fucking tears. <clears throat> At least you guys know I care. At least you know I care. Like, I hope you know I care. <clears throat> and that's why I kept, you know, trying to create new fun ideas. <laughs> I think it was a great run. No one can take it away from me. I don't think there will ever be someone as influential as I was to the main scene ever. I don't think there's, I mean, <laughs> I don't think there ever will be. <laughs> I don't think anyone has innovated as much as me. I don't think anyone is as influential as me. And yes, that's me being cocky. <laughs> Ain't no one touching what I've done in my opinion. That's just my opinion. I, I hope you've had a great time. I really do. I'm still going to make some videos. There'll be some goodbye videos. Every clan that has been 
you know, really supportive for my server. I'm going to do something very special for you guys. I'm also going to release some merch because, you know, the spirit of Affinity can't die. It can't die. Yep, if you guys would like some merch so you can get to... So you can get shot outside your houses for wearing Affinity merch. <laughs> um, I'm really proud of what I've accomplished. I hope you guys are proud of me too. I went from someone that I thought no one would touch my shit. I believed everyone saying your server's not going to work, Kim. I believed that. But I kept going and I came a long way. Oxide apparently isn't shut down. So there's another option for a server too. Um, face punch, if any of you guys are in here, I respect the fuck out of you. I don't, you know, I don't fully agree with the decision, but I respect it. And I do completely see where you're coming from. Face punch. I do get it. Like a, a, a random role player logging into my server to see me calling them a retard is just not, it's not good. You can't be affiliated with it. And I understand I've learned my lesson. <laughs> Believe me, I've learned my fucking lesson. I've learned the fuck out of it. 